go over the protocol first and then share our norms. So first we're going to be doing a presentation from our presenters. They will just um, go over their project. So the title of our project is My Brain is Like a Landfill, courtesy of Julie. Um, we want it to be a little bit of a play on words. Um, we have different aims and focuses throughout this project, um, but my aim um, is through the science lens, um, and I have a couple different ways in which I'm approaching it. Um, so we're going to be examining the issue of trash, trash and waste, uh, specifically within uh, amongst ourselves, what we contribute, so we just started on that today. Um, looking at it mathematically and taking kind of data of well, what would we personally contribute and what that equates to in the in the bigger scheme of things. Um, when uh, Miss Ruby's class, we are focusing on three different groups of, of people, uh, so Mexican Americans, Filipino, and. So I guess our focus questions, um, I think one of them that we had was pairing or individual, is this a completely individual project mm -hmm. or do we group it in any way? Um, because I think we're flexible in either way, but I don't, I think we want some input and insight on that perspective. Okay, so now we will do five minutes of clarifying questions. Are you guys doing the full team for this project, or is it more like it's a completely interdisciplinary project the whole time? Yeah, so okay. we have team time, and then but completely okay. And it was the mandala was kind of the the final product for the humanities side, and then for you guys it'll be the so the they're letter. separate. Okay. Yeah, so the letter I think is combined. Got thinking it. Thinking about like what our actions are and who we are. Uh huh. Um, so tying those two up because I think I we're fo on this, the math science side we're focusing on actions um, and what we choose to do and why. Okay, so now we're going to move on to probing questions. So. We will be asking questions that will challenge the teachers to actually think um, about what their project is going to be about, and so we will do that for five minutes. Uh, what do you want the students to get out of this at the end of the project? I would like them to reflect on their identity. Um, I would like them to to struggle a little bit about like what it means to be a sixth grader here at high tech and writing about it hopefully will be a quiet activity for them to to reflect on like okay this was me coming into sixth grade but where am I now because um, I feel like they've changed a lot in these in these months but I don't think they realize how much they've changed so I would really it would be neat for me to to see them work through that Right now we're going to move on to discussion, so um, we will be discussing what we liked about the project and what could be improved, and at this time, the presenters will not be inv involved in this process at all, so it will be like you are not even here. So, that they're focusing on. Mm -hmm. I love the, I love that um, together with the students, it's something that the students know their teachers are passionate about. Um, and they see exactly like Miss Ruby's connection with Mexican American culture and Miss Jean's connection with Filipino culture. Um, and then the Kumie is so neat that it's something that the students had surfaced over and over again, this interest, and then it came back around to be a topic of their project because of that. I just, that feels really authentic to me. Yeah, I think that the whole pro idea of the project is great, and there's so many things that is going to leave a, an impact on this community here at this school. Um, but I feel like it always comes up in every single student consulting um, meeting is that how are the students going to be affected by the project? How are they going to actually go on to seventh grade, eighth grade, and high school? carrying this piece of knowledge with them and not just leaving it behind um, in that piece of artwork or in that letter. Like, how are they 
going to actually use what they learn and carry it on into their life. I'm just going to so. piggyback off from both of your ideas. Just like, like I think exhibition, um, being intentional about it. I think we heard some ideas that maybe maybe their kids can go down and lead circles with uh, mm -hmm. fifth graders. I think that's an excellent idea. Mm -hmm. um, maybe starting with empathy interviews of a parent partner. Um, and, and doing like an empathy interview and then getting to know that partner and then as they go through the rest of this project, then their letters focus on that on that partner. And at the end, they lead circles all together but then they, they'll get together with a partner. Also, I think that what if we had the new kids write letters for the new kids so like they know what mm -hmm. it's going to to going to a new school at sixth grade. I really like in this project how you take something that's um, like this issue and looking at it from like uh, being an advocate for like the environment and then you turn it into personal agency and I feel like the action ads and the mandalas are going to be a great way for them to like have that introspection about okay what what do I want to achieve and what do I want who's the person I want to be and then how is that going to look once I try and actually put put action to those words and to those thoughts. Um. Okay, so we are done with the discussion. We will invite the presenters back into the circle and then present um, the response of what they heard, what they liked, and what they might consider for their project. Um, I love the idea of uh, consolidating the final product to be more purposeful and intentional of like a united front in our, in our final piece. Um, I also love the idea of uh, pairing students with the fifth graders. Um, I'm really intrigued to do that. Uh, um, a bright spot for me was just uh, the challenging questions, um, you know, why we chose these groups uh, and why they're authentic. Um, I really like the idea of like, you know, we didn't mention Filipino American and, and that's so valid so I would like to bring that back, especially since um, Jean is Filipino American and she identifies that way and that's why she wanted to participate so much so I'm experiencing like how else can we bring in this voice. Um, the Kumeyaay, I recently learned that they... Now we will move on to the debrief where participants and presenters will reflect on the experience together and this tuning. Um, I think we did a great job adhere adhering to the norms. Um, all of us shared the air. Um, all of our voices were heard. Um, we we're, were like soft on the people, but like uh, we took apart the project and uh, added some ideas and left some questions out there for them to think about. I agree with Dr. Kai that this was one of the like most focused tunings I've been in and um, about myself, I think I talked a lot during advice, but I could have asked a lot more questions. So now we're going to close the loop and each of us are going to share the thing that we appreciated about this um, tuning and what did we learn about ourselves, what do we take away? Um, I think I take away, what I often take away is just a reminder of um, how necessary, not just valuable, but necessary it is to seek out student voice. Um, I think I'm most struck with, uh, as always, the student consultants um, is kind of my favorite, um, but just the awareness that you each hold, and even as okay, we're talking well, right now. Okay, well, we have completed the project tuning, and thank you all for coming. Thank you.